Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, October 5th. This is Gina McGuire. We will continue to see wet and cool conditions across the eastern half of Nevada, across Utah, both today and tomorrow, bringing chances for wetting rains and also quite a bit of lightning. Lightning is already occurring early this morning over southern portions of Nevada and Utah. Warmer and drier weather will return from Wednesday into next week. However, it's highly unlikely that enough warming and drying would occur to bring fuel back to critical levels in a widespread fashion across the Great Basin. The only threat for larger fires would be during strong wind events after dry periods. Looking at the precipitation over the last 24 hours, we've seen wetting rains, especially over the southern portion of Nevada into Utah, with quite a bit of lightning across the southern half of the Great Basin. Over the last seven days, we've finally seen precipitation in all areas, bringing wetting rains across portions of western Nevada and the Sierra, and over the last 30 days, most areas have seen good amounts of rainfall, with the exception of parts of southern Nevada, which has only seen light amounts of rainfall over the last month. The water vapor satellite image from this morning shows a good area of low pressure over southern California, which will continue moving eastward, and this is what will be bringing us our wet and cool weather today and tomorrow. However, this ridge of high pressure off the west coast will eventually push eastward into the Great Basin, bringing us those warmer and drier conditions. Significant fire potential will remain low across the Great Basin due to the recent and ongoing wet and cool weather. Temperatures today will remain near normal across Nevada and Idaho with highs reaching the mid-70s and the lower elevations and be quite cool where there's areas of rain still continuing over southern Nevada and Utah. Again, the better chances of wetting rains will occur over the southern portion of the Great Basin today, also with some high elevation snowfall in the southern and central Sierra. By Tuesday, we'll see this area of low pressure move only slightly further east into Arizona, keeping showers and thunderstorms across Utah and over the eastern portion and southern areas of Nevada and possibly into southeast Idaho and Wyoming. However, the better chances of wetting rains will occur across Utah. We'll see some gradual warming on the western and northern side of the Great Basin. As we move into Wednesday, this area of low pressure now moves a little bit further east into New Mexico, and this will take with it most of the rain showers. There may still be a few rain showers over far southeast Utah, however low fire potential again will continue. We also may see some moisture move up into the central portion of the Idaho mountains. Temperatures will be on the rise and will be increasing to above normal over parts of Idaho and Nevada. By Thursday, high pressure builds into the Great Basin with warmer and drier conditions over southern and western areas. However, a weak disturbance moving over the north side of the ridge across Idaho will bring some showers and possible thunderstorms to Idaho and Wyoming and possibly even to northern parts of Utah into northeast Nevada. However, any precipitation will likely be on the lighter side on Thursday. As we move through Friday and Saturday, the ridge pushes further across the Great Basin. There may still be some breezy winds across Idaho into Wyoming. However, lighter winds warmer temperatures and dry conditions will persist across Nevada and Utah with temperatures increasing to around 10 degrees above normal. These warm temperatures and dry conditions continue through the weekend and into early next week. We may see some increases to fire potential to low to moderate over parts of western and northern Nevada. However, again, most areas will remain in low fire potential due to the recent cooler temperatures and rainfall. Looking at the total forecast amounts of precipitation through tonight, We'll see good amounts of wetting rains over an inch or even up to an inch and a half of total precipitation over parts of southern areas of the Great Basin. And then on Tuesday, we'll continue to see wetting rains across especially Utah. Again, thunderstorms will be numerous across the area. However, will be accompanying by the wetting rains. Looking at the fire danger indices, ERCs have decreased significantly over parts of northern and western areas of the Great Basin recently with the wet and cool weather. However, have been slowly increasing as dry weather has returned to Idaho however, are just near normal. Looking at the outlook over the middle portion of October, we'll likely see a return to dry conditions and above normal temperatures as we move through the next week to 10 days. That concludes this briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Also, this will be our last fire potential briefing for the season. We will be transitioning into a smoke dispersion forecast, which that webcast will be issued on Mondays at least once a week and will start next Monday. Thank you for listening.